Okay, so for this problem, um, okay, so for this problem, it says that Mary purchased a 10 year par value, 4% coupon rate of 4%. So, price. Okay, so bond pricing formula is involved again. Okay. Now, it says that the bond can be called at 100 over the par value of 1100 on any coupon date starting at the end of year five and ending six months prior to maturity. Okay, calculate the minimum yield that Mary could receive. So basically, what we have here is that we know that there is... Um, a par value of 1100. So we're going to do 1100 times the 2% uh, coupon rate to get 22. Now we set it up 10 years, 20. We don't know the interest rate yet. Plus a uh, par value of 1100 V to the 20, right? Then it also says that the par va the um, bond can also be called at 100 over the par value of 1100 on any coupon date, right? So that would mean that that would be 1200 in total of calling on any coupon date starting at the end of year five and ending six months uh, prior to maturity. So if it's ending six months prior to maturity and this is a semi-annual thing, then we could limit this um, equation into only 19 payments. Uh -huh. Now, it says calculate the minimum yield that Mary could receive expressed as an annual nominal rate of interest convertible semi-annually. So, when we're finding the annual nominal rate, we want to uh, find the rate in which before it was compounded, right? So, or, yeah. So basically, yeah, this is the rate at before it was compounded, before it was divided by two, and this is the new rate now. So now it says calculate the minimum rate. Okay, so basically in scenarios like these, when we observe like calling, we know that when it's a discount bond, we want to make sure that we're calling it at the latest date. And if it's a premium bond, we always want to make sure that it call, we call it at the earliest date. And if it's at par, I'm guessing the middle date. But anyway, we see over here that the calling, the call factor of 1100 is um, greater than uh, what we paid for of the bond. So that would mean that this is a discount bond. Now, we want to find out which is the latest date. The latest date would be at maturity. Whereas this is a second scenario of uh, it ending six months prior to maturity. So my best bet is to go with this equation because it is the latest date and it is the, a discount bond. But let's solve uh, for the interest rate. Okay, so we'll do 1021.50 present value. 22 payment, uh, 20 number of years, 1100. Present value, 22 payment. 
years, 1100 as the future value. They compute the interest rate to 2.46, right, for here. We're just going to solve this one anyway, even though it's not the latest date. 21.50, credit value, 22 payments, 19 number of years, 1200, future value, compute. We get 2.86. So they're asking for the minimum yield, so this wins. Now they're saying that they want it to be expressed as an annual nominal rate of interest semi-annually, right? So we're gonna have to multiply that by two. So 2.46 times two, and then we'll end up getting 4.92 as the answer, and that's why it's B.